So proteins are a hugely important nutrient and macronutrient that we all know. Uh, and we all know that we do need protein, especially as we train, uh, especially as we train in order to sort of replenish muscles, make sure they're make sure you recover between sessions, rebuild and all of that stuff. Don't need to dig into that. How much protein do you need? I think generally the minimum, the minimum acceptance is sort of 2.2 grams per kilogram of body weight. And I think that's sort of the general rule uh, and you can move upwards from there dependent on uh, sort of individuals. And that's something that we work with our clients on, a, on, a, on an individual basis and manage it there. So a lot of people do struggle with getting enough protein and, and making sure that they got enough every day and find it hard to sort of hit that number on a daily basis. So a couple of strategies are firstly making sure that you've got a protein source with every single meal. Easiest one straight away is a meat source, whether it is beef, whether it is turkey, chicken, lamb, whatever the meat, the meat source is, making sure you have, that's a really easy way to for your lunch and for your dinner or anything like that in between. Making sure that you've got one of those in any form, whether it is breast, whether it is mince, whether it is burger, whatever it is, making sure that you have a protein source with every meal is automatically going to make sure that you are getting up there towards hitting your, your, your protein macro every single day. Potentially looking at other protein sources, uh, non-meat sources, so whether it is things like milk, uh, natural yogurt is another good one. Lentils, lentils are a, a really good legume. Uh, legume, they're a pretty good option uh, for protein that are non-meat source, so that you can add them, uh, add them to your meal pretty easily if you've already got meat in there as well. Another really simple way is to make sure that you've got protein in breakfast, because a lot of the time uh, we do see it quite commonly is people will have things like uh, things like oats. Um, cereals, bread, toast, bread, whatever it is, they generally uh, have a higher carb breakfast. Um, so then they're pretty much missing out, and that comes back to the first point, is having protein with every meal. They pretty much miss out sort of having any form of protein with their breakfast. So making sure that you do have a protein source with breakfast, whether it's eggs, whether it's bacon, whether it's uh, sausages. Sausages are solid option as long as it's not on a daily basis, but um, Making sure that you do have a protein source with your breakfast, like eat more eggs. Eggs are a super simple, really easy way. You can eat them in many forms. Really good way to get your, your protein in your, in your breakfast. And then the final one, if you find that you still can't, uh, you can't get enough protein, supplement. Whey protein, uh, doesn't necessarily have to be a whey, it can be a vegan protein, um, but a protein powder supplement is the most simple way if you cannot get it from your food. Uh, any form of whey protein, making sure that it is a good quality, check the ingredients, check the labels thoroughly, and you will definitely, definitely, definitely hit your protein target.